Yeah, just like to say, unfortunately, I'm, I'm having to retire due to a, an ongoing back problem. I'm really gutted, obviously, me and the family. We've, we've spoken about it a lot over the last few weeks, and although I was still managing to play, it was, it was causing me a lot of grief, and we made the decision that we're going to retire, and uh, just really pleased of it. I, I loved every minute of my career, and, and although the results haven't been going too well this season, in, in my last season, uh, I feel like we've really kicked on the last few weeks and there's some real positives around the, the place and obviously with the new manager coming in, I, f I think he's been, he's been brilliant and uh, I'd love to stay to, to help him, help him rebuild and the real positive stuff's coming back at Bill Ricky and I'm gutted I won't be there but hopefully with uh, with a few results that will all be sorted. But, uh, with my career, I just loved every minute, and and I'm and I'm going out happy still. Uh, I'd like to have finished the rest of the season, but I'm really pleased of uh, how I'm going to leave it. Since you transitioned to centre back, you've been a revelation for us. What did you think of the switch from midfield? Yeah, obviously I, I loved it. At the end of your career, you you just want to uh, you have success, and obviously unfortunately with, with the results on the pitch. It, it's not been ideal, but the last few weeks has been a, been a, a massive improvement from the from from everyone. And I've I've done my my stint as centre back, and I've done it loads of times in my career. So as I say, it's been a, it's been a great career. I loved every minute, and and pleased to be finishing the way I am. What would you say is your fondest memory in your career? That's where I've been been so lucky. I've had some amazing times in football. There's always been downs, but my career's been much more highs, and I'm so thankful for that. And I started obviously at, at Tottenham, where I was lucky enough to train and be alongside some of the, the best players in the country, and I was so loved every minute of being there. And, and then the clubs then after that I represented were all just amazing. And had so much success at a lot of them, and the promotions are the days that I'll remember when I retire. And, I loved every minute, and but the the biggest thing was just being in the changing room with with your, your fellow teammates, and even even right to the end with Billy Ricky, I've, I've, there's some great characters in here, and I'll remember all of them fondly. And uh, there's a lot of people that I'll, I've got a lot of um, thanks to say to them all, but I'll do that. I'll make sure that I'll contact everyone, and uh, most people know me know that uh, I'll speak to a lot of them, a lot of them good people that I've had in my career. And what does the future hold for Charlie Lee going forward? The future, there's nothing in the in the pipeline, unfortunately, but I loved every minute and I'm ready for the next step. Whatever it is, I'll give it my all and uh, I'll still be playing sport the, the best I can. Uh, I play a lot of cricket at Broxhorn Cricket Club and they've already said that I've got to play for the football team, BCCFC, so I'll, I'll probably have to play centre off for some of them at some point if I if I can manage. But in the immediate future, I'll just try and get my, my back right and get myself in a place where I'm ready to, ready to carry on. And then we'll see what happens in the in the future. And I'm excited.